Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. This week in my studio, the first thing I am going to do is test this with water to make sure that it's not splashing because it's going into an exhibit later this week for the month of July and it can't be splashing all over inside the building. And I need to finish this basin cover that goes at the bottom of the fountain. I just have this middle part and the top part on that side to do and then to grout it. So it's no joke, it's over a square foot of mosaic left, but it's all basically in this blue color. And then this mosaic, while it is finished, I haven't done the edges and I need to get it in a frame. And then any other work that is going in my exhibit, I'm dropping off at the end of the week. So I will need to pull everything out, check it over, make sure there's nothing that needs to be touched up or fixed and get it all packed and into the car. is one ugly bin. I need to get to work on that bin cover so I can get the full effect. But there you go. I think I nailed that water going behind there. Great. I have just finished the first side and so wonderful. I went to work on the next side when I realized I forgot this entire row of tiles that is supposed to go underneath this top border. Uh, I'm so frustrated. I had to go eat a chocolate and now I'm back. I'm going to be tearing this out, nipping it down and adding the row of tile. Ugh. I'm gonna try to do this terrible task in a very organized fashion. So I'm gonna be pulling these and setting them right on this template so that I don't lose their place. And then after I have added the other glass, then I will cut down what's there and fit it around the tile. Blue's not even set up all the way, which is good, but I think I'm gonna have to do some cleanup with acetone.
managed to get uh, the glue sort of all over my hands, all over the tiles, and on my tools. So I just have to be sure to wipe that off with the acetone. Um, fortunately, that silicone had not set up all the way, so I didn't have to spend any time scraping the silicone residue away. So that was a lucky break. Time for a break from the studio and a look at my front garden. Got coleus caladiums, sort of a red theme going in impatience. Black eyed Susan's right here, aren't we? And over here, got some new blooms. Aren't those gorgeous? That pop of purple with the red. Great on this side. On the other side, I've got more black eyed Susans and some cone flower. And it's still almost finished blooming. the glass yesterday to this bin cover and I've brought my setup outside where I will be grouting today because I have easier access to my water source which is my hose and I dump this in my garden. found the easiest way to get the grout in around this part of the border with these gems is just to do it by hand. Now that I've finished the fountain, I need to be getting ready for my exhibit, but I'm going to reward myself first by making a little yellow butterfly. So I've pulled a bunch of yellow beads and tiles and Bobbles, and I'm gonna stick it all on there.
of mosaics that are finished, but I have to wire them. So I have them all prepped, I have them marked where I need to pre-drill, and then I'm just going to do them all at once uh, in a very efficient way. Here we go. at the bottom is just right. It ties in that edge with the front. It's working. These little guys with their iridized glass are gorgeous. That dichro body. And then this little gem over here on the side. want to sit near the water at all but I got a treat here you want your treat here it is at night with its magical light the exhibit and it will be hung early next week all together can't wait to see it here's the information on my exhibit it runs from july 1st through the 29th 2021 i'm here at sewell mill cultural center at the exhibit of grace kisa i was dragging off my work and her exhibit was here before mine isn't that cool i love these sculptures look at Sunrise in different dimensions. Zip ties on there. And this one is called Long Story. This one is called I Come in Peace. These guitar guys. This first one is called Continental Drifters. And this one is also continental drifters, I guess they're together, drifting. This 
one is called Beautiful Magnetic Missive Sent From Home. Now I asked about what this was made out of and the heads are made out of resin. So resin, really cool. So home is where the heart is. Look what's in there. Interesting. This one's called Certified Sustainable. And another one of these crooked guys. This one's called the Fortunate One. There are also these very vibrant acrylic paintings. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.